the first look at the Surface 2. So here we've got the Surface 2. You've got to fight the urge to say the Surface RT2. Gaunt is the RT name, but what lives on is the operating system. It is Windows 8.1 RT. Be able to get this guy in two configurations, either 449 for a 32 like we've got here, or 549 for 64. Uh, I should say that this is pre-production hardware that Microsoft uh, sent us. Like I said, the hardware is exactly the same as the retail, but the operating system will get an upgrade uh, once the final RT 8.1 comes out uh, yet again. Just that little disclaimer. So there's a lot of things different here in the Surface 2. I think much more externally than there is at the Surface Pro 2. The big difference, look at it on the back. It looks gray, which is what Microsoft is just calling magnesium. It's that same uh, vapor mag material, which feels like aluminum, uh, but has better heat dissipation, uh, supposedly. Um, but it comes in gray if you also like the black. You've got that option, too. You now have the Surface logo there instead of the uh, Windows flag, which I kind of like seeing. Uh, another big difference here is the kickstand. So I always liked that the kickstand extended all the way across. It was great for putting it on your lap, uh, but it was sort of hard to use uh, at that angle. So Microsoft said, we will listen to you, consumer, and they gave it, boom, another angle, which is much easier not only to use on your lap, but also when you are at a desk. It's a little bit thinner as well than the outgoing Surface RT. This one's 0.35 to 0.37 on the outgoing version. It weighs a little less, 23.84 ounces versus the 24 ounces, uh, but it feels uh, much lighter. Uh, and it feels uh, you know, very different to use. Uh, also being powered, this is now a Tegra 4 process as opposed to Tegra 3, and there's a huge speed difference here. Uh, whether you're playing video, uh, 1080p content back, you don't have to worry at all about any sort of lag that we saw before. It's a 1.7 gigahertz uh, Tegra 4 chip with two gigs of RAM, so there's plenty uh, of storage here. Yeah. We have an upgraded 5 megapixel camera living there on the back. We've got a 3.5 megapixel sensor that lives right there on the front. A Bluetooth 4.0, uh, supposedly way better battery life too. It's hit up to 10 hours of video playback or 7 to 15 days uh, of idle life, which is really nice. Uh, you do get expandable storage here via micro SD. Overall, the experience has been very positive. I'm going to continue to use it and put it through its paces. Uh, what you're not going to have, though, is a full desktop operating system, so your legacy apps won't work. You still have a desktop, but all that's really going to run here is Microsoft Office, which will come pre-installed, including uh, Outlook now, which is quite nice. Uh, one of the big updates uh, that we saw when Microsoft announced the Surface 2 and the Surface Pro 2 are things like this, these brand new accessories. What you're looking at here is the type cover, uh, which is going to be $129. It's got actual physical keys. Uh, it's thinner than the outgoing uh, type cover. It now has a felt uh, key and trackpad here and backlit. And like all accessories for the Surface, with most of them, it snaps and it's a very satisfactory noise. I'll go ahead and restart that one later. Uh, other accessories that are going to be available, there's batteries. Uh, there's a type cover, which does not have the physical buttons. It's all touch with improved sensors and also backlight. It costs you $80. There's some DJ accessories. Uh, there's wireless accessories if you want to use this wirelessly and all kinds of other stuff. Not much reason to do that, though. It's got a USB 3.0 port, so you can plug in really whatever you like. Go ahead and pull that out, and we'll continue uh, our tour. So you've got that one Windows button, which is going to take you right to the desktop. You've now got that Windows uh, Start button in the bottom left, which will take you right to the new uh, start menu here. On the left-hand side, you've got a speaker, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, volume up and down. On the right-hand side, that's where your power connection uh, is going to be. A little bit of revised power connector uh, there that'll make it easier to snap in. Uh, there's your USB 3.0 port. There is a mini display. And underneath here is where your expandable storage is going to live. If you want to throw in uh, a micro SD card, uh, you can go ahead and do so right there. It's kind of hidden uh, if you don't know where to look. Overall, the build quality is outstanding. That was ever the issue with Microsoft Surface devices. Um, how this is going to sort of fit in the pantheon of tablets, of course, first it's the iPad and the onslaught of Android tablets. Nexus 7, Nexus 10 is yet to be seen, but I will use it, put it through its paces, and let you guys know what I think. Any questions or things you want to see, be sure to let me know. Until then, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Please give the video a thumbs up. It's definitely appreciate it. I'll see you next time. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We've got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. Now, if you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.